Want to speak real Afrikaans from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at AfrikaansPod101.com. Hi guys, it's Christine. We're here today in today's lesson. 20 words you'll need for the beach, which is obviously where I am right now. I don't have all those 20 things, but we'll go through the list and then you can keep your checklist for the next time you're heading to a beautiful place like this. Sonbrille. Sunglasses. Zij heeft die mooiste zonbrille. She has the most beautiful sunglasses. She being me, I definitely do. They're very comfortable. It's really nice if you have this little string thing to keep them there because then when you're on the beach, it's a kind of cloudy day like today. You don't really need them, but then every now and then the sun just peeps out at you and you just go, voila, I can see. But not today because it is cloudy and I don't really need them. Strand. Beach. Ons gaan morgen Durban strand toe. We're going to Durban Beach tomorrow. Well, if you are going to Durban Beach tomorrow, lucky you. That's the nicest place where the water is all nice and warm and you can swim and the sun surrounded by lovely, wonderfully happy people. So if you're going to Durban strand tomorrow, then you're a really lucky person. I'm not at Durban strand and the sea here is a lot colder. So I won't be swimming today, but if you go, enjoy. Swim. Swimming. Ek swim in die sea. I'm swimming in the sea. Clearly, like I just said, I'm not swimming in the sea today because it is freezing here. But if you're at the Durban strand, then the sea is where you want to be. Son. Sun. Die son gaan jou brand. The sun is going to burn you. Well, the sun is quite strong in South Africa, so if you are planning on tanning, you better get that sun cream out because it will burn you. You'll get nice and brown, maybe if it's nice, if you've got a strong skin, but it's better to be safe than sorry because no one wants a sunburn. It's very, very painful and itchy when you go to bed. Palemboer, palm tree. So I sit on the palemboer. She's sitting under the palm tree. She being me isn't sitting under a palm tree, but if you're at the Durban strand, there's probably a couple of palm trees around and you know there's lovely um, tropical beaches and there's lots of pineapples or coconuts or things. If you're in one of those places, you can definitely be using this word, palemboem, and maybe you can go sit under one and then you can be the she sitting under the palm tree. Seascull. Seashell. This is a pink seascull. This is a pink seashell. Well, as you can see, I do not have a pink seashell to show you. At the moment, it was very rough high tide here last night, so all the shells are a little bit under the sand and all over the place, and I couldn't really find a nice pink one to show you today. But I challenge you to go find me one and let me know later in the comments if you found a beautiful pink seashell, a beautiful pink sea skull. Swimbroek. Swimsuit. I get a new swimbroek for quick. I bought a new swimsuit. I did buy a new swimsuit at the beginning of the year when it was full time summer blazing in the sun all day, every day. Right now I'm not going to show you my swimsuit because like I said before, it's super cold here and it's not my time to swim. But it might be yours, so go get your new swim brook and get in that water and splash around. Ocean. Ocean. The ocean is mooi in blau vandag. The ocean is nice and blue today. Well, it's, it is. I mean, I don't know if you can see very well, but it's beautiful and blue. A lot of those times where it's like spring tide or something and then the water goes all murky and brown and red But not today and not most of the time. So if you're at the ocean, if you're at the strand, uh, have a look at the sea, see what color it is try to decipher what shade of blue it is. I love playing that game. And then you get everyone around you to say a color and then you actually search the color and see which one of you got the closest one. I never win. But um, it's, it's quite nice to notice the little things. So notice the actual color of the ocean water or the sand around you or even the plants and things on the tree. Like notice what their little leaves look like, what the little bird walking on the sand's little feet look like. These little, little details really add to having the most wonderful, fulfilling beach day experience. So check out the sea, check if it's blue, and if it is, then the C 
Sion is mooi en blauw. Waterpony, jet ski. My son wil graag op die waterpony ry. My son would really like to go on the jet ski. Uh, jet skis are quite dangerous things, but they are super, super fun if you get to ride one. So you must always just be sure that the waves aren't too crazy, there's not too much going on around you. And if you have the lucky chance to go on a Vardman Pony, then enjoy it. Don't go wild. We all want to live to tell the tale. Um, but if you do get to, you're very lucky. Make sure you have fun, make sure you're safe, and then come back and tell us all about it. Strand Handuk. Beach towel. My strand handuk is not nat. My beach towel is still wet. Well, I have my beach towel here today and it's not still wet. And one funky thing about beach towels is they're not like all the towels we have at home. They're colorful, they have lots of patterns. And the fun thing is, if your swim brook isn't so colorful and you decided to just go for the plain black one or plain yellow one, you can always jazz up your beach look by having a funky towel or a funky bag or a funky hat or funky sunglasses, sunbrilla. Um, so that's one great thing about the strand experience. You always have these colors and patterns and just add them all together and make your look unique, which is great and beautiful and fun and attracts lots of people. Strand stool, beach chair. I get a green strand stool gekoop. I bought a green beach chair. I don't have a beach chair here today, unfortunately, but they are great if you don't like sand and you don't like getting sand all in your legs and your feet when you're sitting down or on your towel. And every time you come back to your towel, you have to get off all the sand and then the sand goes in your friend's eyes and then blah, 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 blah. It's just all craziness. One way to avoid that is getting a strand stool. You can sit comfortably, you're not too sandy, but you're sandy enough to still say you're on the beach. So if you're one of those people who doesn't like the sand in the air and all the air, go get a green stansel or another color, but green ones are nice and you'll fit in with the nature around you. Sand Castile. Sand Castle. The Kinesh Bow is Sand Castile. The children are building a sand castle. Who doesn't love building sand castles on the beach? You don't have to be a child to do it. I actually did it yesterday with a little kid. So I was playing with him, but I think I was the one enjoying it more than he was. You can build big ones, small ones, lots of little ones, add them all together. You can make those drippy ones with wet sand. Like sand castles are endless creations of fun and creativity. So if you don't like building a uh, one with a bucket and a spade and all that stuff and you're one of the looser creative types you can use your hands use tools the best thing about sand is you can do almost anything with it so go when you're next to the beach go make a spectacularly amazing sand castile and show your friends take a photo post it on instagram do whatever but most of all, before doing all those things, just enjoy it. It's such a nice thing to just play with your hands and do things and make things. And it's such a nice stress relief. So not only are you in the fun, in the sun, having fun, swimming in your Niva swim group, using your hands, stress relief, creativity. It's just what a better way to spend your day at the beach than making sand custom. Getai. Tide. Die getij is baie hoog vandag. The tide is very high today. Well, actually, it's not where I am right now. It's actually quite low tide. But yesterday, it was such a hoog day. I came to the beach and we could only walk on like this much sand because there was so much water everywhere. And sometimes it's nice to be here at low tide because there's lots of sand for you to walk on and play on and run on and do whatever you want to do on the beach. But actually, it's also really nice to come in the hoog day because then you're seeing all the little bubbles and all the little snails that come out of the ocean and the whole beach becomes alive because there's so much life in the water that's now surrounding the beach that you're usually running on. So it's quite cool that it changes so much in one day, but that space of sand is enjoyed by not only us when it's low tide, but also by all the little sea creatures living in the sea sand 
that we don't really notice until it's working day and they come out and swim and play and whatever. So it's quite a cool thought to think of, don't you think? Tan. Tan. I get a lekker tan gekry. I got a nice tan. Well, thank you. I mean, I hope I did. I don't know. I didn't spend too much time in the sun this summer because it was a super hot one and I didn't want to damage my skin. But it's always nice when you've spent the whole day at the beach and you come home and you're not so like red like a lobster. But actually, you think you've like got some color and it looks good and people are complimenting you and it's a great feeling. So just make sure that when you are in the sun, you're tanning and not burning because it doesn't feel the same. The response is not quite the same. People laughing at you instead of winking at you or whatever the positive thing is. So just make sure it's a tan and not a burn. Snorkel. Snorkeling. Ons gaan allemaal morgen snorkel. We're all going snorkeling tomorrow. Lucky you. How cool, like all the little creatures I was talking about earlier that live in the ocean, in the shallow waters, in the little rock pools. If you've got a snorkel, you definitely have to go take them out because you can see what they like, what they like doing, all the little anemones and the little mussels. And if you've got a snorkel, you must definitely go snorkel more. Plucky. Flip flop. Say it on plucky for Louis. She lost her flip flop. Shame, poor girl, because I have mine here. They're the two saving graces of the beach day. You never really use them, so they're kind of annoying while you're on the strand. But before and after, while you're walking to the car or walking to the home or wherever you're coming from, they help you on the rocky, gravelly roads. And they save you until you get to the soft, silky sand. Sun scatter. Sunscreen. My man had his sun scatter. My husband brought the sun cream. What a nice guy. Like I said earlier, we want to tan, we don't want to burn. So we got to make sure that someone, if you don't have a husband, that's okay. Um, just make sure someone, or you even, remember the sun cream. Remember to put it on a little while before you come into the sun, because otherwise, ouchie loves the time tonight. Bikini. Bikini. Bikinis is all they can murder. Bikinis are always in fashion. They are. I actually did a study on bikinis the other day and we learned how over time they've gone from being a full swimsuit to being a two piece to being a big and a small piece to being a two smaller pieces and they seem to always be getting smaller. I wonder who's designing them. But anyway, they are nice if you want to get a tan and not a burn. They are nice if you want to get some color. They're nice for some freedom and you have complete looseness about your body and you can swim and feel the water. They're great things, just make sure that you're wearing them right and for the right reasons. But they are beautiful and if you've got the body, flaunt it. Roemais. Ice cream. Arbei Roemais is the lekkerste. Strawberry ice cream is the nicest. That is actually my favorite ice cream flavor or milkshake flavor even better when you push it all together into a drink. But what a good beach it is if there's a little stall selling ice cream and it's such a hot day in the sun, you're all sweaty and all you want is something cold, but unfortunately you've got the cooler box with all the cool drunker. So now what are you gonna do? You're gonna buy an ice cream. What's your favorite flavor? Strawberry ice cream. Ice cream on the beach, Romais op die strand, is the best solution to the sticky uncomfortableness of the hot sun. Sun. Sand. I get sand in my schooner. I have sand in my shoes. Well, if you've got pluckies, you're not going to have sand in your shoes because they're just going to fall off, obviously. But it's the main ingredient for those sand castella that you want to build, so it's always good to have them. Not going to have them in your schooner, but sand is the thing that makes them the beach day, the beach day. Whether it's flying around and irritating you on your towel, whether it's in your schooner, whether it's in your roommates, whether you're using it to build a sand castle, a sand castile, it's the main ingredient. So look at it, appreciate it. Notice the color, notice the granules, notice the little sea sculpture in it. Just basically enjoy your beach day using all these 20 words. 
so we've come to the end of the lesson today. I hope those 20 words were relevant to your beach day and that you'll use them the next time you go. And I hope that you go soon because the beach day is the best day, best beach day ever. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments or in the section below. Subscribe. Uh, remember to do some Afrikaans on AfrikaansPod101.com and like us, follow us, do all those things, please. Enjoy!